What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Simon Tarzi, and we are back with a new video. Yo, in this video, guys, we're gonna talk every single fucking time. I'm trying to talk to you, shut, but you shut the fuck up. We're really, gonna yeah, shut the fuck yeah, up. Don't don't fuck you, don't 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 fuck me. We're gonna fight. <laughs> You're gonna fight. We just <laughs> start. So, basically, guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about this week's games, which was actually a crazy week. Pure cinema, bro. Pure cinema on God. So first things first, I just want to start with Real Madrid versus Man City. This game was actually insane. Full of actions and full of intensity moments. In general, I'm not only sad that we didn't win this match, but also the unfair draw has put the two best teams in the world against each other in the quarterfinal. But I have to say, boys, the first half of the match was perfect for Carlo. He was superior to Pepe Guardiola because, first of all, he didn't exaggerate in the defense or the attack. And if we had continued in the same style of play, we could have added the fourth and the fifth goal because of this series poor defense but you need to know that in the second half we went too far back this shit caused us to you know uh, they score on us like two, two yes. yeah to tie the, the game the, tie no, the game yeah tie the, and allowing city to shoot from outside the pin area and to prove your point that's why Gavardio scored at the 72 so minutes know. 72 minutes from outside the box and unfortunately for us any shot that was taken from outside this area was on the goal yeah, if, if it's not, like, if it's not a goal, it's on the goal. It's on the goal. So to finish with this, I'll say uh, our problem was we came out eventually matched and not victorious on our land. And where I have really the feeling now that City will win this war yeah. against us uh, on the way back, where it's going to be on their land. And uh, yeah, because it's actually tied. It's one of the greatest game that I've been watching. For, like, I'll actually put it top three. Okay. No, I'll for, put it top for the one. championship of top one. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, can't. Listen, so when I say top three, I'm not saying one, two, three. I'm not, all of them. Oh, ah, okay, top three. I put them in top three. And to be honest with you guys, I feel like this game, especially, it's more valuable than the the final of the champion. Do you know why? League. Like because I said, it's be, the the biggest team. challengers. It's, it's, the, biggest it's, challenge. it's the biggest challenge. Imagine, no, no, no. Imagine if they finish together. Oh my god, yeah. this shit gonna be a different story. On oh God, it's, it's gonna be a different story. So seriously, at the end, I feel like they're gonna win. At the end, you're gonna win. Really? Against us. Yeah, it's... it's In our land, bro, 3-3. Three, three. True. Fuck sakes, man. We could do better. Listen, boys, let's be real. Every time Real Madrid faced uh, City in their home, we lost. Mm -hmm. True, that's true. Listen, we lost or it's tied. True. But this time, we're gonna lose. I'm, I promise we're gonna lose. And that's... Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's move on to PSG versus Barcelona. We're not fans of Barca, but we need to say the truth. Today, bro, Barca team showed great defense strength. And the ability to, to create a scoring opportunities. First of all, the match was spectacular. A great performance from the beginning for, for Barca. The subs was excellent and they made all the difference for Barca. We got Pedri who replaced Sergio at the 61 minute. And quickly made his mark with a decisive pass within a minute of coming on. Crazy, bro. He, he go crazy on God. Andrea replaced Frankie at the 76 minute. And after just two minutes. No, not even one minute and Joya scored ahead and give the lead to Barcelona which is 3-2 that true. was insane not, bro not even in 15 minutes the whole game changed I was actually surprised same but yo Xavi you did a, a great fucking job bro, oh, honestly bro. but you're not gonna get out from the second round bro I'm telling you for me it's the opposite they're going to win and now we got on the other hand PSG and they were actually disappointing honestly showing defensive weakness and random play the way how they built the goal was literally random like on bullshit bro like bro their composition was unusual with players who had never played together before and why in the fuck that the strong players were on the bench why bro this shit take us to two point i and let me tell you why one even though psg didn't play with their best players or the more strong players they still have two goal two three true or three two i mean yeah three two why the fuck am I repeating the same shit? Bro, they're gonna win, bro. I'm, I don't give a fuck, bro. The way how they play today, they're gonna win the next. Imagine because now, the, the next, they're gonna play with everything. PSG has four win on Barca, and Barca has four win on PSG, and they have th four draw. Okay. So it's like 50 50. Right now, who is better, you think? PSG or. Um, Look, Barca? listen, that's what I'm saying. Today, Barcelona, they show me. Damn. They yeah, shit on PSG. You know? Even if it's only one point difference. But, personally, I think next round, PSG is winning. 100%, bro. I'll give it to Barca. Oh, you give it to... I'll give it... Do you know why? Because literally, bro, he benched the strong players who, who usually they, they, they play together. They bench them. But, in general, guys, PSG remind of a dangerous team offensively, capable of scoring several goals quickly. Next round prediction, 
PSG is winning on uh, Barca. Okay. Not easily. It's going to be tight, but you're going to see. Okay, so we're going to see. PSG is going to win. Barca is going to win. I bet. We'll see, bro. I will see. And back to Real Madrid versus City. GG's, bro. City, you guys are winning. And after what I said and what I see, I feel like City will win. And of course, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments about uh, what we said in this video. Uh, let me know your prediction on uh, the next round uh, for each game. And let me know, of course, your prediction on the other uh, four teams. Dortmund against Atletico and uh, Arsenal versus Bayern. Uh, they all stack. So yeah, boys, that was it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. It was your boy Sam and Tarzi, guys, in this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are not subscribed yet. See ya, boys, in a bit. It was Sam and Tarzi with you guys. Peace.